you, yourself. And I knew from day one, I never wanted a nine to five job to be behind a desk. I just knew that wasn't me. So coming to Chicago with no family out here on the East Coast or Midwest, um, leaving it all in California. And I was okay with that. It's, yes, it was very, very scary. I did not know if I was gonna make it, but I knew that I needed to separate myself from your comfort zone, from what you know, to really push yourself to be who you wanna be. People didn't believe in me when I first started off. I know that, and it's funny now how much those people either believe in me or say they did believe in me, but I know who did and I know who didn't, and I know that I never stopped believing in myself. To tell another girl or tell to someone else, you know, if you want to get into modeling, do it. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you confident. What makes you comfortable. If you're not comfortable in front of the camera, don't force yourself to be. You can take classes to get yourself there, but really do what makes you comfortable and what makes you happy. I cannot even express to you how excited I get when I'm on set. Even though I'm sometimes it's hurry up and wait, I leave and I'm on cloud nine for a whole month. And then you'll wait your patient little heart and that ad comes out and it's you know, all the, it's the feeling that's all worth of what you were waiting for. And to me, it's all about following your heart about what makes you happy. Because another girl that you look up to, it might be working for her and it may not work for you. So what can you do that will make your dream fit and work for yourself that best showcases your talent, your style, your groove, who you really are? The moment I try to pretend to be somebody else, you can see it, it looks fake, it's not real. The moment you let yourself go and really be the person you were born to be, that's when the true you shines through, and that's the best person you could possibly be.